Oh, que also as a child, I cannot wait to see the smile on that sweet little face. And I bet the baby's cute too. It is so cool that Steven's father's rich. You know, it almost makes up for my father being locked away in prison. I mean, native land. Eric, I'm so sorry about what happened at the rally. It was like watching an antelope get taken down on Wild Kingdom. This is permanent marker, Donna. I don't think this is coming off. I hate cigars. This is way worse than what we usually do in the circle. Tastes disgusting, smells rank, doesn't even make stuff funny. This should be illegal. I hate this. It's like smoking a dirty sock, only easier. I love cigars. I'm good at everything. I just threw up a little. Love my job now, man. Being the boss's son means never having to say, you'll have it by the end of the day. <laughs> yes, Fez is really overdoing it with the Playboys. And this isn't like the time you ate a case of Mars bars either. They can't pump your stomach for porn. <laughs> I'm not so much worried about Fez as I am Shotzi. He goes on the attack every time he sees that Buddha statue. And weirdly, Bob. <laughs> Okay, I'm starting to shake off this whole flowchart thing. I can't even remember what a flowchart is. I can't even remember what I just said. <laughs> hey, which one of you jerks put this tie on me? Steven, focus. You're a businessman. You love work and money and me. Hold on to that. Oh, you know what? You're gonna forget. I'll write it down. Oh, well, you guys missed a glorious trenching. Eric's tiny butt gleaming in the moonlight, shining brighter than the brightest star. It was like a Disney movie. <laughs> yeah. Eric's rear end is white. Sometimes I can't even tell if he's wearing underwear. <laughs> Tonight, in that jail cell, he's gonna glow like a little lightning bug. Foreman's in jail and I spent my entire night at a cocktail party. I had to go break some laws I'm never gonna forgive myself. <laughs> hey, 20 jerks put this tie on me. I love hitting it. I love that you taught me to love hitting it. You know, this is the first time we've ever hit it at... Hey, this place doesn't have a name yet. Uh, you should call it Hot Wax Records. But with a Z. Records. Zs are so rock and roll. Funk Man's House of Funk. Funk Man's Funky House of Funk. Funky Man's Funky House of Hitting It. You guys writing this down or what? See, but it's too complicated. You need something that sounds hot and upscale. You should call it Jackie. <laughs> if you want it hot and upscale, you should call it Dijon Mustard. What about, uh, like, head food? Headsies. The head. That's kind of cool. The head. The, the head. head. The head. Okay, here's the situation. It's Thanksgiving night, everything's closed. We need to find 100 record bins by midnight. It's the same damn thing every year. Hey, I have a question. How does hair know to grow? And how far inside your head does it go? Does it touch your brain? Okay, I think we need to get Jerry Garcia here some coffee. Let that girl rap, I was into it. I like to think about my head. The head, that's the name. I saved the day. You know what would be perfect for the records? Those boxes that milk bottles come in. They're like crates or crepes. Crepes! How good are crepes? That'll work, man. We need like 50 empty milk crates. Well, how are we gonna drink all that milk? <gasps> Wait! We need 50 boxes of cookies! Oh, Wastoid, we'll, we'll steal the crates. It's perfect. Milk crates. Milk crates. Milk crates. Milky crate This one messed up Christmas, man. You guys are all starting to look like elves. 
<laughs> that must have freaked you out. <laughs> it's gonna fall off. It's okay. Oh my god, it, it is gonna fall off. It's okay. Okay. Let me give you my recipe for holiday cheer. Take one slop, add half a bottle of schnapps, then stir freely with fez. It is a wonderful life. It's a great present, guys. I especially like the teen white paper y'all wrapped it in. Yeah, the only thing that could ruin today is if the Russians set off that Russian death ray that's pointed at the White House. Oh, seriously. No, I read about it in a magazine. Phil, so that was The Flash, and it is a comic book. I love comic books. I wish I had thought bubbles. You see anything? Also, the Russians don't have a death ray, but they do have a stupid ray, and it's pointed directly at you. No, no, no. The Russians do have a death ray, and I'll prove it. Uh, operator, uh, give me the White House. Kelso, I'm not allowed to make long distance calls without permission. Oh, awesome. I'm on hold, and they're playing that theme song to the president. Hail to the chief. Oh, thank you, Eric, but I'm trying to enjoy the president's theme song. Yeah. <laughs> Good job disposing of all the evidence, you guys. You better take this serious, Eric. We have a lot of evidence to dispose of, even more than we had at the Pink Floyd concert. Yeah, there is a lot. Without all the smoke machines and lasers, this is just like punishment. And I never thought I'd say this, but I wish there were more people to share this with. <laughs> this is our third circle, and it hasn't calmed me down at all. I feel almost more suspicious than before. I don't want to get sent back to my home country. If I return in shame, I'll get stoned. And then, you throw rocks at me. Everybody, just settle down, okay? Settle down! You are all losing your minds! Who is yelling? Who is yelling? We all just need to keep calm. That's it! Don't we're all gonna die! Okay, this is starting to feel like work, man. Feds have ruined the circle. The circle sucks. That's right, I said it. Hey, this circle is the only thing that's keeping us sharp. If it weren't for this circle, we'd have no idea that the feds were surrounding us, planting bugs everywhere, watching our every move. So I say thank you to the circle. I just want everyone to know I'm prepared to fight my way out of here. That was a good idea. Now, how are we going to pay for dinner? I think this pretty much covers your tab. But if you're interested, dessert's on me. In that case, you better soak your uniform in club soda. And see? What an awesome night! I am partying in the back of a truck stop with a hippie and a waitress. Who are now making out. Wow, the fact that I'm here is not slowing them down at all. <laughs> Good God, woman, you buttered my toast with that hand. Poor Donna. I think I hurt her pretty bad. Her neck stuck, just tilted over like this. Yeah, but on the upside, it looks like she's really interested in everything I have to say. Oh, she's got a bad neck. Quit whining. I've got out where girls don't even have necks. Hi, Faith. One time, this girl whipped her head around to look at me, because I'm hot, and her neck just snapped. And then she collapsed into the jukebox. Also, that was the funds. Well, where do you think they got it from? Woman, forget being a chiropractor, ma'am. The way I see it, you're diligent, tidy, and detail-oriented. So I think you should become a professional butt wiper. <laughs> Come on, man, this is serious. Eric, you gotta start off slow. First, you should be an amateur butt wiper. What's wrong with you two? So rude. Eric, I think you should move to Paris. That way you can become a butt YPA. There's nothing like drinking beer straight from the tap. 
This must be why babies love breastfeeding. Reminds me of an ancient Chinese proverb. It goes, something, 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 crazy girlfriend. Something, something, drink lots of beer. I don't think we're gonna find the answer to our problems in a keg of beer. Unless they're at the bottom, so drink up. <laughs> I've been in this warehouse a hundred times and I never did this. Now I know why my grandmother's an alcoholic. This is great. <laughs> I'm gonna need a bigger mouth. Okay. Here's what I don't get. Why would Sally sell seashells down by the seashore? I mean, that's a terrible location for a seashell stand. Yeah. I mean, if she wanted to make money, she would sell seashells by the subway. You know what she should sell by the seashore? Shoe shines! Because your sandals get so sandy. Sandy sandals. We should start a girl band called Sandy Sandals. <laughs> What's wrong? Well, sand reminds me of dirt. And dirt reminds me of Steven. Jackie, I'm sure Hyde will do the right thing. Yeah. I thought if I really put myself out there, he'd see how much I love him and say yes right away. And then when he didn't, I thought, Okay, well, maybe he'll take a couple hours and then say yes. But now I think he's only taking so long because he's gonna say no. Donna, what if he says no? Jackie, if Hyde says no, then you and I get a van and the Sandy Sandals to America. <laughs> oh, crap, it's almost time for me to go get my shots. Yeah, why do I have to get shots anyway? So I get yellow fever. I could use a little color. You guys, this might be our last circle together. We're growing up. I mean, these two have jobs, and Eric is off to start his life, and I'm doing more shaving than ever. Eric, I know you're scared of getting your shots, so I'm going to be a pal and get him with you, because I owe you for that time that I chucked that dead raccoon at you, and then it turned out to not be dead, and then it bit you, and then you kicked it back at me, and then it bit me, and then we both had to go and get rabies shots. <laughs> then we're on the way to the hospital. The counselor saw that dog, and he jumped out of the car because he wanted to go pet it, but he forgot the car was moving, he broke his arm. It was the funniest, bloodiest, most rabies-filled day ever. Look at us, best friends offering to help each other. You know, we always have to remember this moment. <laughs> Upstairs, now! I am in huge trouble. <laughs>